Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how climate change might affect tropical storms. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. One of the impacts of global climate change is that we will see more frequent intense tropical storms. This is because global warming will change the conditions that cause tropical storms to form. This will happen in two ways. As global temperatures will rise, this will cause thermal expansion of the oceans, resulting in sea level rise. This will make storm surges higher, which will flood low-lying coastal areas. Storm surges are the most deadly hazard related to tropical storms and often lead to a high death toll through flooding. The other way is if the atmosphere is warmer, the air can hold more moisture. This will result in heavier rainfall, leading to more destructive flooding during tropical storms. So let's have a look at the impact of climate change on frequency and distribution. Scientists predict that the number of tropical storms are likely to stay the same, with some even predicting a slight drop in number due to climate change. However, they all agree that there will be an increase in Category 4 and 5 tropical storms, which are the most severe. And most of them agree there will be fewer Category 1 to 3 storms. They also agree that tropical storms may start to occur in areas which previously didn't experience storms, as those areas start to become warmer. However, this is likely to be just beyond the tropics and not widespread across the globe, meaning that there won't be a significant change in distribution. So how might climate change affect intensity of tropical storms? Scientists have found links between warmer oceans and the intensity of those storms, meaning that where sea temperatures are higher, tropical storms will be more destructive. They predict by 2100 the intensity of tropical storms will have increased by 2 to 11%. And this is backed by an increase in the number of Category 4 and 5 storms since the 1970s. And in particular, the increase in superstorms. For example, Super Typhoon Haiyan, which is pictured on the screen, many of you will have studied as your low income country storm and Super Typhoon Noro, which hit in 2022. Both of these superstorms hit the Philippines. Scientists predict that for every 1% increase in temperature at the surface of the ocean, there will be a 3 to 5% increase in wind speed. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how climate change might affect tropical storms. Thank you for watching.